All right, so now that Ursula's out, it's time to open the end of the ink lands. <laughs> Haven't done that yet, so. I, people were really excited about the set, so I thought that, you know, it would move pretty quickly, and it did, and I didn't have any to open on release because everyone bought it, so I had to wait until it was restocked to reorder it, so I could open up a box. So, let's see. Still not sealed on the side, huh? Interesting. Uh, it's hard to get in there, but, you know. They did have this, so, you know. At least they've worked their way up. I don't know why there seemed to be less interest in Floodborne if you're, uh, if you're into Lakana and, uh, been collecting all the sets and if you're you know playing competitively or casually or whatever just let me know what uh, the just on the street is why some people may not have been that into Bloodborne because it didn't move very quickly if at all let's see so what was I uh, it was yeah these colors down here denoted their rarity that way. So a lot of the stuff may not be of a lot of interest to me just because I thought he was declaring. What was he from? Hmm. Uh, like I said in other videos, there's, oh yeah, yeah, it changes the, the symbol. Okay, so, ah, Baloo. I do like Baloo. So, like I said, after Lion King, I stopped pretty much watching Disney movies, so... Um, neat. Uh, it didn't really interest me, the late movies, so I'm not really figuring out what, um, or I'm, I'm not really into any of the newer movies, but, uh, Blue, I remember, what was it, the Disney Hour or the Disney, I don't know, some, basically, cartoon combo where there's lots of Disney stuff came in, in early-ish 90s. And Tailspin. Tailspin and, of course, the DuckTales were my favorite. Uh, Tailspin was pretty awesome. So, Agrabah. Uh, I guess these are... Are they akin to lands or are they just... They, you're moving some storyline forward from what I understand. Um, I guess Joshua Sweet. Queen of Hearts. And, and there are even some older ones. like I don't think I ever watched Alice in Wonderland. Heart of Tefiti. I don't know if that's uh, a big hit. Oh, Milo Thatch. That's the... I don't know if he's huge, but... Uh, and there's an Eeyore in there. Now let's look at this thing first. I don't think it's the heart of the feed. I mean, it could be a meta piece. I don't know. So... Put these up. So that <laughs> the stack is in the in the picture. These packs are a lot easier to open than some of the other, like, especially easier than Pokemon. When you open a lot of packs, it, it's important that it's easy to open. The Queen's Castle. Ooh, that's a yeah, switch that out. Put in Milo. Milo Thatch. I don't know who Milo Thatch is anyway. Let me know who Milo Thatch is. Was well, that? A f f yeah. Yet again, it's hard to tell the foils. So if I miss it, then that's why. It's hard to see this whole thing. So. Nottingham, Stitch, Forbidden Mountain, uh, Mr. Stoops, I don't remember that character, Nanny, ooh, a Mufasa, nice, that, and a Peter Pan, nice, uh, not foil, 
That's always the foil always in the back. Okay, I guess that makes it easier. But so far, I don't think we've had any hits of foil. Japan and Italy Fossa, huh? So, I mean, you did hear me say the last thing I watched was Lion King. And I watched a lot of Lion King. Also, when I was a teenager, I learned that if you get pulled over from the cops for speeding or for, I don't know, one of your taillights are out or something like that, it helps if when they pull up to your car, you're blaring the uh, Lion King soundtrack. <laughs> and, you know, here we go. Japan, Fasa. And we'll put Huey after that. I don't know. You know, maybe not. Maybe not now. Maybe it's some other like, classical music or something like that. You know. But, uh, you know, it always, it's always good to keep the cops on their toes. <laughs> Stratos, I don't know. Huey. Uh, you like, like Huey. Huey. And Louie. And, oh. Heart of Atlantis is in here too. Is that how far I'll go? Guessing that's a song title. Stratos, don't know. It looks like a big tornado. From what movie? Hey, if you want to educate me and let me know what uh, these things are that I'm that I may be glossing over, feel free to do so. I, no, I, it helps me to learn a little bit of the game. There's a Simba, but it's a... But I'll take Simba out anyway to go with Mufasa. The Jolly Roger, I know what that... It, that's the pirate ship from Peter Pan? Map of Treasure Planet. He huh. bang ship. Ooh. And Hydra, that... What's the... I don't know, the mythic or... It's not mythic, what the hell is it? What is the rarity that uh, this game has? The ultimate rarity, the... I don't know. It'll come back to me, or it won't, and then, you know, I just won't say it, and then I'll leave you hanging, and you'll be like, what the hell, man? What in the hell? Why don't you know anything about this game? Uh, Sorcerer's Tower. 99 puppies. <laughs> Captain Hook. Uh, That's it. I would think, but I, mean, I don't think that these rares necessarily. Ooh, and a foil Captain Hook. Nice. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't think the 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 the, the, the rare levels, the triangly, whatever gold ones. I don't think that they have a lot of value to, I mean, maybe once in a while one might, but it's mostly those ultra rare ones, those whatever the hell they're called. It's not mythic, it's something else. Foil Captain Hook. Tell me if you can see that foil very well on camera. Uh, Mama Odie, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Mystical? No, that's not it. That's not it. What am I missing? Come on. In the comments. Tell me what I'm wrong about. Oh, the lamp. I mean, everybody likes the genie. Nobody likes the genie's lamp. And many else. Start a new stack there. Did anyone get that reference? Yeah, I don't understand. Everybody likes the rats, but nobody likes the rat's milk. Neverland? Oh, the bayou? Those places. And Motunui? And Maui's place of exile. Oh, that's a. Rare landish thing. Ooh, and the Queen's Castle. In foil. Sounds like that. Mystical Archive? Or is that something else? 
No, it is a mystical archive, isn't it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Tell me. Tell me. Did I get the mystical archives? That, that one I'm not remembering because I had to make it two goddamn words. Oh. Chris and Merfolk and On Your Feet Now. And something else. What else? Chris Merfolk. I don't know. I think at first this game... You know, as it, as more, I guess, competitive players come into the scene, other cards might start to spike in value because they're more meta. Um, but I think right now what's driving most of the prices is the nostalgia. It's got to be Mystical Archives. And the Elsa Mystical Archive. Wait, was there no... That was a pack with just... Huh. I mean, that one's silver, but I don't think silver really means anything. Interesting. Shenzi. Oh, there's another Lion King character, so... Oh, it's Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> nice. I don't know. Webby Vanderduck. You know... Uh... I might make a... Duck's deck, if there's such a thing. Tell me, is there a duck deck? Is it even remotely viable? Um, how expensive is the best Scrooge McDuck card? McDuck Manor. Nice. Well, you're going to pull out ducks. Uh, Joshua, well, I don't know who Joshua Sweet is. Mama Odie again. Tiani's Palace, don't know that. Uh, Friar Tuck, yeah. Sorcerer's Hat. And Maleficent. Ooh. Wait, wait, is that a mixed mystical archive? Melissa sent? No. People like Angelina Jolie. People like... Uh, Cinderella? Cinderella? Or Snow White? Is this Melissa sent? I think it's Cinderella. Um, so, you know. Yeah, I'm leaving you hanging there because you, you, you know the... Maleficent Miss Clark, I was there, but I haven't put it under. All right, I won't. I won't do that to you. I won't play you like that. Ah, there's a Nala, but in foil, but it's uh, just a regular Nala. So, from what I'm gathering uh, from the other box opening that I did, that there's versions of the characters in the different levels of rarity. And is it all levels of rarity? And then, the is it that they? The higher rarity is definitely the better card, or are there examples where it's not necessarily? Let me know about that. Because it seems kind of silly to me to have the same character in all levels of rarity, but the only one you want is the highest level rarity. So then why even bother? Gustav the Giant. I don't really know where that's from. Oh, maybe Mulan? Is it? I don't know. I don't think there were giants in Mulan, but you never know. Um, I haven't watched Mulan in, what, 20-something years, and I forgot it was a movie until Rick and Morty did the thing with the McDonald's Szechuan sauce, which was hilarious, but, you know. RLS Legacy. Oh, was that? Was Treasure Planet Disney? Or is this something else? RLS Legacy. It's a flying ship of some kind. I guess Treasure Planet was Disney? I didn't watch it. I don't know. I remember Trailer Planet. Planet. So. Oh, and Morph and a Peter Pan. Um, again, if Treasure Planet wasn't Disney, then let me know how wrong I was. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it was Disney. And if you tell me different, I'll just say you're wrong even if you're not. I'm just going to put it in my head can that it was Disney. Oh, here comes another Mystical Archive. Moana Rare. Nice. And what is this? Lucky Dime Mystical Archive. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Is these Mystical Archives that are just, you know... It's probably a meta piece, and it's probably, at some point in the future, someone's going to be like, oh, this is, you need this in a ton of different decks. And then it's going to be spiking value, but for now, 
I think it's a little bit underplayed because it's not, it's not Moana, it's not Elsa, it's not uh, Stitch, it's not, you know, all the different characters that people want. Mm, there's no one that has any emotional attachment to Lucky Dime, so. Oh, and there's a rare stitch. And Magicka Dispel. Well, that was a duck character. <laughs> and Magic Broom. So I don't know how well I'm actually doing. And uh, you could let me know in the comments how well or how badly I'm doing on this box. Um, and if you're one of my customers, uh, you'll be able to buy these singles if you see anything that piques your interest. Uh, gyro Gear Loose. And the bare necessities. I mean, I'm showcasing these rares. Oh, and the Curse of Merfolk uh, foil. I don't know how important these rares are. I mean, when I'm doing the Magic the Box, <laughs> Magic the Box opening, uh, Magic the Gathering box opening, usually I'm just showcasing mythics and foil rares and rares that I know are, you know, sought after. But, uh,. I don't know. I don't know enough about this game. Oh, uh, a Simba rare. There's, There's a Chris Murphy foil. foil. And Piglet and Mama Odie foil. Nice. So there's, so there's a Simba. Simba. So didn't we get a Simba... I don't know. Common or uncommon or something like that? Now we got a Simba Rare and is better. I would think. I mean, I would throw more of the, you know, the the, the technical pieces that, you, that, that, that sort of run the deck besides the characters into the lower slots. At least more of them. Starlight Vile. And ooh, Robin Hood Mystical Archive. I don't know if he's popular enough to want him, but. I think he's cool. Again, Again because, because I'm the one that watched old stuff, not new stuff. So that's why I'm gushing over Simba and DuckTales and Baloo and Robin Hood as opposed to Moana, Stitch, that kind of stuff. Don't know anything about it. Neverland. Hmm, nice. Nala, Sumerian Talisman. A Sumerian Talisman, what is that from? See, that's the thing, is a lot of the stuff that I would have watched when I was a kid would have gone over my head, like Sumer being important. Um, Pride Lands. So I'm guessing that was probably the Emperor's New Groove or something like that, because it would take take place in ancient times. Uh, the Sumerians would have been involved. Pride Lands. Nice. So I got a land to go with the Simba and the Mufasa. So having nothing else in that pack. Oops. I ruined it. I ruined it. I jostled the camera. You guys should tell me I'm trash and unsubscribe. Nani. Wildcat. Andre Ramirez. Don't know that character at all. And Treasure Guardian. So I think... Was Treasure Guardian? Where was that? I don't know. But yeah, so... A lot of these cards are going to go over my head. I'm probably never going to watch any of these movies. I'm, I mean, I got. There are some young kids in my life, my, my great nieces and great nephews, and maybe, you know, spending time with them, I'll have to force myself to watch these movies anyway. Um, I expect to watch a lot more Lion King, because obviously that's the movie I'm going to. I don't mind watching over and over and over again. Even. Actually, Frozen. Frozen's pretty good. Um, I did. So that is the a Disney movie that I did watch after after uh, The Lion King, and that's because a friend of mine, whose child at the time was like five or six, she really loved that movie and wanted to watch it, and I'm like, well, you know, uh, you know, you can't just force kids to watch the cartoons you love, you gotta watch what they love too, or else, you know, it's not, they, it's enjoyable to watch something you love with someone that's, that's important to you, and watch them enjoy it, and especially it's good to have those feelings in childhood, so you got to kind of pretend that you love these movies, uh, even when you don't necessarily, especially when you have to watch them over and over and over again. 
Um, but yeah, that has nothing to do with the box opening, so I'm going to cut it out here and uh, let me know what you think of this box opening in the comments.